One of the many ways to demonstrate the concept of buoyancy is to watch how a floating dry dock is utilized. If you take the simple design of a floating pontoon boat, the concept of a floating dry dock is very similar. A pontoon boat is simply a flat piece of pie wood with two hollow pontoons underneath it. A floating dock is very similar, but the hollow pontoons are above that flat deck and are considerably taller. A dry dock is normally used for ship maintenance and repairs. The basic premise is to raise a large ship up out of the water, completely exposing the entire hull. It consists of that large flat plate that's horizontal to the water surface and those two hollow hulls on either side that can be filled with water to sink the entire maintenance deck underneath the water and then those hollow pontoons can be pumped out to raise the dry dock. Now looking at this view you can see that the weight of the floating dry dock is small enough that it will float above the water line with its natural buoyant force. There's a large volume of air that's filling those holes and there's a considerable buoyant force that keeps it floating above the water line. The basic concept of this floating dry dock is that valves are opened which allow the two side tanks to fill up with water. Now this extra weight of the water will cause the deck to sink below the water line and it's a controlled operation so that only a predetermined volume of water is allowed into the tanks to get to a certain depth below the water line. This continual filling causes the deck to sink to that distance enough for a ship to maneuver between the two outer tanks and over the flat deck. Prior to raising this deck up, there will be chalk blocks placed on either side of the V shape of the hull to hold it upright once it's out of the water. In order to raise this entire setup, a system of pumps will draw the water out of those two side holes, which will increase the buoyancy of the dry dock enough to raise it back to a level where the horizontal deck is again above the water line. This is going to allow the workers to perform all the necessary maintenance on the hull below the water line. Now, I hope this simulation that's used in the ship repair industry was helpful in explaining the concept of buoyancy.